Hi everybody, so I'm back to do a um, little video on my Yankee tart purchases. Um, so they're doing the dollar tart deal, I think it's good through Veterans Day is tomorrow. So they were calling it a Veterans Day sale. So I'm assuming that it's good through tomorrow, but don't quote me on that. Tomorrow is Tuesday, Veterans Day, November 11th. So, but... Um, I don't know if it was just through Monday or what. But anyway, so this past weekend they were doing the dollar tart and vote of sale, which I love. And since I didn't have any, uh, well, really, I have very few Yankee tarts in general, but I needed Christmas scents because it's coming, guys. I mean, Thanksgiving is literally two weeks from this coming Thursday. So um, I needed some uh, Christmas tarts. So I thought, great time to go get a few. So I only bought 28. My limit, I told myself my limit was 20. So uh, I ended up with 28. So I didn't go too far out of my limit. But I, I was thinking I don't need a ton of Christmas tarts because, you know, I can only use so much. And um, I like to buy my tarts fresh. I mean, I don't. I'm not the kind that, buys hundreds of tarts and then stores them and then you know they lose scent and to me tarts are have a relatively short shelf life so um, I usually just buy what I want at the time until I run out and then I go buy more so um, so I got all Christmas scents except for Berrylicious I picked this one up because I've heard so much about it um, and I've never tried it but the first time I smelled it in the store back in the summer when it came out, um, I wasn't all that impressed. Um, I just thought, uh, I mean, I was really excited for it and I love the label. I love the dessert there that they have. It just looks delicious. But when I sniffed it cold in the store, I just pretty much got berry. I'm not even real sure it was blueberry. Um, I just got a berry scent didn't smell bad but it didn't smell dessert like like I wanted so um, I thought yeah I don't see what the big deal is and um, then I kept reading reviews and people talking about it and apparently it's pretty popular so I thought I'm just gonna grab a Berrylicious tart and try it for myself now the thing is I can't bring myself to melt it right now because I'm in fall mode still so I'm only melting fall and burning fall candles and um, to me I know this came out as a fall scent for Yankee but to me there's nothing fall about this so I'm saving it for after Christmas um, but I can't stop smelling this tart it's like when I got it home it just something clicked and I was like wow this is delicious now I get the berry. I mean, I, of course, I still get the berry, but I get uh, more um, dessert berry um, than I did smelling it in cold in the store. So I don't get a bakery note. I don't get cake or pie or whatever this is. It almost looks like a um, pound cake or a sponge cake of some kind. I don't get any cake notes, but I get a creamy dessert um, berry filling um, like that would go on top of said cake in the picture um, so it's a very interesting scent it's different from blueberry scone it's different from their regular blueberry um, it's got its own thing going on and I'm really excited to try this I've just, I've slit a little, I don't think you can see it, but I've slit a little sliver of the plastic open. And I just like several times a day, literally just huff it. I have a problem. But really, it smells awesome. I foresee a large jar in my future. Um, this is one that I don't think they're going to retire. I don't think it's going to go on sale after the semi-annual sale or after Christmas for the semi-annual sale. I think this is one they're going to keep out. It seems very popular and they seem to have purposely 
um, created a non-seasonal synth that they could keep out all year long if it did well. And so I do think it's doing well enough that they're not going to retire it um, after Christmas. So I'm not looking to be able to pick up a large jar or anything after Christmas uh, on sale, but I definitely, if I like this, I'm gonna get a large jar sooner or later so anyways enough about berry delicious um i'm sure it's like old news to most of you because it's been out since last summer but um new to me i'm just now getting it i've been very slow um as far as new scents and keeping up with stuff really really not doing that lately so um Yesterday or whenever, whatever day it was, I, I believe Saturday when I went in to the Yankee store, it was very nice to just go in and sniff everything. I hadn't smelled any of the new um, Christmas fragrances and I had smelled all the um, fall stuff, but um, I just uh, had a good time going in there and sniffing everything. So I ended up with um, 27 other tarts and most of these are not repeats. I just pretty much picked up um, a tart in any holiday scent that I was interested in. So I'm gonna, we're already six minutes in and I've only talked about Berrylicious. So we're gonna get right into it. I'm not gonna dwell on scents at all. I picked up Holiday Garland. It's a classic, it's been out for a long time. Um, it's Christmas tree and like cranberry mixed together. I get definitely more like Christmas tree note. Um, but there is a hint of cranberry in it. Red Apple Wreath, another classic scent. It's really nice, um, very apple-y. Definitely has some maple and walnuts and cinnamon and stuff in there. It's really nice. My all-time favorite, and I got three of these, Holiday Sage. Um, this is back as, as a treasure tart, and I just love it. To me, it's the quintessential holiday fragrance. It's my first... Maybe part of it is it was my first uh, Christmas candle from Yankee um, like seven or eight years ago. And I just, I love it. It's my favorite, one of my favorite scents of all time and definitely my favorite all-time Christmas scent. Another treasure tart that is back this year is Hot Buttered Rum. And this is really nice. I wouldn't just use this um, at Christmas time. I would definitely, and maybe I will, pick up a large jar when it goes on sale after Christmas, um, I'm thinking of picking up a, a large jar of this scent because it's really just a nice buttery rum, kind of butterscotchy fragrance, and it would be nice for any time during the winter. I really like it. And then Celebrate Christmas. I was happy this came back again this year because I really enjoyed it last year. It's just a really nice spicy um fragrance it reminds me of um, gingerbread meets home sweet home it's just spicy it's got a little bit of bakery and a lot of spice and it's really nice um, deck the halls actually I don't think I did not get this in this um, in this trip I just happen to have some deck the halls tarts in fact I have three of them so but it's a nice fragrance. It was out a couple of years ago and um, it's a nice green fragrance. There's some other stuff going on in there too. Uh, another new one for this year is Candy Cane Lane. And this one I'm super excited about. Um, as far as looks, the label is so cute and festive. I want the large jar. I still have to go get my um, Holiday Yankee large jars. I haven't done that yet, but I figure the buy two get two last through the month. And also I was invited to friends and family. So I may go ahead and go this week and just do the six for 60% off. But, um, candy cane lane is one that I'm really excited about. I've heard the candle is really light, so I'm a little hesitant to go ahead and grab the large jar, but I love the cold scent of this. It's, um, peppermint, but you definitely get um, vanilla and maybe even like a little slight bakery note. I really like it. Um, the peppermint's not too overwhelming um, and I really like that it's mixed with like kind of a sweet vanilla note to it. 
And then next one I got Sparkling Cinnamon, a classic. It's just a very um, spicy, true cinnamon. Let's see. Oh, this one is one that I am super excited about, and I didn't know I needed this in my life until I went in the store. I wasn't particularly excited about it when I heard that it came out, Luscious Plum, um, because I thought they already have sugared plums. They already have Christmas Eve, which has a um, very strong note of um, plum, sugared plums in it. So I thought, what more could they do with the plums for Christmas? But boy, was I wrong when I sniffed this in the store. I was just like, wow, this is a really very nice scent. Um, there's just something about this that I really like. Um, and I don't necessarily get Christmas from this. I get uh, uh, just a nice winter, um, deep, rich fruit fragrance. Um, the plum is deeper and richer than either sugared plums or Christmas Eve. Um, and it's just got, it's almost got like a kind of an elegant smell to it. It's um, a deeper plum maybe some people have kind of described it as a little perfumey I don't really get perfumey but I definitely can see where somebody might think that uh, because it's not a real foodie foodie plum it's more like um, just an upscale fragrance of plum I don't know if I'm explaining it right but I just think it smells fantastic and I fully intend to grab a large jar of this um, at the semi-annual sale because I'll burn this after Christmas. It's not explicitly Christmas to me. I think it'll be, make a nice winter fragrance. Um, now I guess I picked up two candy cane lanes. I guess I did. Cranberry Peppermint. This one is a really nice scent. Um, to me, it's a perfect mix. Cranberry and peppermint. One doesn't overwhelm the other one. You definitely get both notes. Sparkling pine, classic pine scent. I really love all of Yankee's green Christmas tree type fragrances. Hollyberry is another Christmas treasure tart that they brought back this year. I love it. Spicy and um, very delicious. Wait, that didn't work because never mind. Hollyberry, it's nice. I like it. Moving on. I'm not going to try to be clever because clearly that's not going to happen. Christmas cookie, of course, a classic. Everybody knows and loves Christmas cookie. It's just a really nice buttery, sweet cookie, sugar cookie. Christmas wreath. This is one that a lot of my candle friends call cat pee wreath. <laughs> I don't get that. I will never understand why everybody calls it cat pee wreath because to me it really smells the closest to what I remember real Christmas tree smelling like when I was a kid. Um, we usually had a fake tree, but once in a blue moon, once in a while, we would get a real tree or my Nana would have a real tree. And this is what I remember that smelling like. And we didn't have cats, so I know it wasn't just the cats peeing on the tree. But this is really good. Um, so I'm glad that I don't get the cat pee thing. Anyways, Jack Frost, this is an, another uh, treasure tart, uh, just a nice mix of um, mint and vanilla. Christmas Eve, of course I talked about it earlier, you definitely get that sugared plums, but it's very much, it's a very Christmassy scent. I really like it. And Holiday Bayberry, another classic. I went with a lot of the classics just because I love them. Yankee does Christmas scents so well. North Pole, it's another peppermint and vanilla scent, but it's really very nice. Kind of like Jack Frost, but um, it's nice enough to warrant having another version of it, I guess. And then Sparkling Snow. I just love this fresh, clean, icy, tingly, fresh. I said fresh already. Anyways, I'm trying to get through this because we're in 15, 15 minutes in. Balsam and Cedar, it's my absolute favorite Christmas tree scent from Yankee. 
and it's really so good. And there's, I think the juniper berry in it is what really, <clears throat> really sets it apart for me. Winter Garden, it's another one of the new Christmas fragrances. I'm not sure about this one yet. Um, and again, not very Christmassy to me. I would definitely, if I like it, I would definitely buy a large jar of this to burn throughout the winter because it's just um, winter theme. It's not Christmas theme. Um, and I don't get a real strong pine note or anything. It's more a fresh, slightly, possibly soapy fragrance. I'll just have to melt it and see what I think. Uh, red berries and cedar. Sometimes I get hamster cage and sometimes I get a very complex berry and cedar fragrance. I mean, <clears throat> It goes back and forth. It's really strange. I mean, if I'm just sniffing without really taking the time to um, to really uh, get the notes, I smell hamster cage. I don't know why. But if I really sniff it for a while, I can make out the actual notes that it's supposed to be. So I have a really strange relationship with that scent. I like it, and yet I still kind of think it smells like a hamster cage. Gingerbread. Perfect, yummy, spicy, bakery, gingerbread fragrance. Love it. And we're down to the end. Magical Frosted Magical Frosted Forest. This is one they had last year, um, but they brought it back. It was in like a specialty novelty line kind of thing, and they brought it back in the regular line this year. So I went ahead and picked it up. It's another, yet another green Christmas tree fragrance. But it smells really nice, so um, I don't know how it's different yet, but I guess I will find out. And then the last one I picked up was Mistletoe. And of course, it's a classic Christmassy. Uh, you get the green Christmas tree notes, and I'm not real sure what Mistletoe smells like, but this just captures um, the smell of green Christmas trees. I'm done. I'm done. It's 17 minutes in and I'm rambling and just saying green Christmas trees. So it's time to be done. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. If I do go to the semi-annual sale, I will definitely post a video with my haulage. Um, in the meantime, thanks for watching and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.